Hey, 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 basically pointed out that Teddy has a thing for all of the receptionists that work at Black Ink Crew. So, Tati, don't get too comfortable, bitch. To the club, Tati. I love my brother Teddy. But he's a shopper. This is what he does. You know what I mean? Like, you have to test the waters. Every little thing that came through here, just about every little thing that came through. We're talking about Alex. You know, we got the sky. We doing spontaneous I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Good morning, welcome to John. You know what I mean? Uh, he, he's, he's still practically secretly in love with me. Just to know that you have a family here. <laughs> Everybody know what all the that happened with Donna. You know what I'm saying? Jada. I think it's not normal in here. <laughs> it's what, so what's weird. going on? Am I missing something? Well, that's happening. <laughs> You know, the only way he didn't really touch was Duchess, and that's only because Caesar the only one crazy enough to do that. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Welcome to the club, Tati. I love so, you. yeah, Tati, girl. You want a mini, bitch. <laughs> Also, in Black Ink Crew news, over the weekend, Sky got into it with some girl at this diner, y'all, and the shit was fucking hilarious. Here are some of the clips, child. that girl motorsport i holler now it was security with her so i'm guessing they were filming because she just don't walk around with security with her so we will see if this ends up on a later episode of black ink but that shit had me hollering i was dying laughing okay on to my review for tonight so sky and genesis are hugging uh we pick up pick up exactly where we left off on last week episode sky and genesis are hugging each other and he's telling her you know remember when i was a little boy and it was just me and you we're gonna get back to that he's crying she crying she touching all over his face asking him how tall he is he's like i'm six two mama and i it just touched my heart to him call her mama and you know she's telling him that he looks just like her genesis say you know we do uh we so much alike that that's why we don't like each other sometimes. And they both just start cracking up laughing. It was just so good to see them binding one another. Jada and her tricolor wig child go to see Donna at her crib. But Donna tells her how she gave season ultimatum. She's crying because she feels like she always going hard for black ink. And she don't get no respect. I'm like, girl, you ain't even got no respect for that vacant tooth in your mouth. You ain't even tried to get that motherfucker rehabbed yet. So can't nobody have respect for you when you ain't even got respect for your teeth sorry so Scott introduces the girls to her son Dez then tells her that his friend got shot in his apartment Sky is stunned by this news like she didn't know what the fuck to say I ain't know what the fuck to say so he says that he went out and I guess he had a roommate or some shit like that but he was living with some niggas they had a bunch of people over he came back to the crib cops was around the place when he walked into his apartment there was bullet holes there was blood everywhere and the friend apparently died that's just horrible so sky feels like he's hanging around the wrong people and asks is he in the streets and dad says no but you can tell that he lying i don't think that he's like off in it like that but he hanging around motherfuckers that he should not be hanging around with so she asked genesis like what he, he thinks about the whole entire thing 
I gotta put my curls back in my hair. Anywho, <laughs> she asked Genesis what he feels about the whole thing. And Genesis said, you know, rest in peace to whoever died, but you lucky you wasn't there. You are what you hang around. Jail ain't where you want to be. That little boy got some quotes for that ass. You are who you hang around. And that is a fact. Birds of a feather flock the fuck together. Be aware who you call friend and who your circle is. If you're around a bunch of losers, you a loser. If you're around a, people, a bunch of people that's ambitious, driven, out here trying to get that bag, that says a lot about you. So beware who you call friend. If you dealing with a bunch of whores, you a whore. <laughs> if you dealing with a bunch of dead beat ass baby daddies, men, you ain't shit neither. So, um, Sky said, you know, I need my sons to be okay. I ain't never needed nobody, but I need you. She says it's to Genesis and to um, Dez. And she's crying and begging him, you know, just to straighten the fuck up. Melody and Lalo, Lalo haven't been getting along. He don't like her new wig, child. I ain't like it neither. <laughs> She asks him to use a tattoo machine and he's annoyed because she always fucking up her shit and always want to use his. She asks him like what's wrong and he's mad that she's working at Black Ink and not with him. They were supposed to be working together. He don't like, you know, the people over there. He don't like what they stand for, what they do and think that all they do is party and go to strip clubs and now she, you know, following that, that whole fad and trend that they over there doing and he, say her, he says to her, look at your wig is on point. He said, look, your wig is on point and your makeup is on point but you don't have no tattoo machine. I was like, oh, be still my heart. He got her together real quick. He said, you have become a person I don't like. You have abandoned our world. I don't know what you stand for anymore. And he makes it clear that he don't want to have anything to do with black ink. And she's crying and basically leaves. And I'm going to touch more on that in a little while. So Sky tells sees about her reuniting with Genesis. He's shocked but so happy for her. She tells him about Dez and his situation. She don't know how to really deal with it and is worried about him. She feels that he has no structure because uh, he's not in school and he's not doing the army thing. So C suggests that he moves to New York and stay with her instead of going back to Texas so he can be around them and have some type of structure. They can keep an eye on him because they know the streets, they know what's good. You know, his wife mama don't really know what's out here popping or whatever she 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 ain't young and hip like sky and sees anymore so she says she gonna talk to his birth mother about it his mom i mean not his birth mother his adoptive mother his mom about it so toki suggests they throw a body painting party and sees is on board sees tells them that he fired down and he don't give a fuck about her feelings and don't want to talk about that hoe so a girl named signature honey walks in baby and say she's looking to do some brand marketing. Kids say, you know, that's me, sweetheart. Any marketing that come uh, needs to be sent to me. Signature say, well, I'm going to show him then, and then I'll come talk to you. <laughs> so she sit down next to C's. And Kit and her um, confessional say she come in there dressed like a Canadian. <laughs> dressed Dressed in a Canadian tuxedo. Nigga, I holler because that damn blue jean jacket with that little ruffle puff up here on that sleeve. I was like, girl, where you going? You said first day of school, you in fifth grade. Where you going with that bullshit on? So uh the girl gives C's her pitch and talking big shit about how she needs to how he she gonna help him level up and da 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 and everybody looking at her like bitch who argue with this blue jean outfit on everybody laughing at her cause she just doing way too much. C's say, you know, you no know, kids say C's don't have time for all that. You should be talking to me. Signature say, you don't have time for me. She says, it's the C's. C say, you know, your pretty face. Yeah, I got time for that. And she say, you know, do Mosquito know about that? And <laughs> Miss Kitty was like, um, it's Miss Kitty. And Signature say, that means pussy. And I was like, oh, oh, shots fired. Oh, God. Oh, God. I got a hole in my chest. I didn't know. I was like, bitch. So, Miss Kitty didn't even know what the fuck to say. She was so goddamn, like, thrown off by the shit. So the girl gives C's her number and sashay away, honey. And Kit say to C's, you trying to be funny. I'm going to talk to you later. And C's say, all right, real nation. <laughs> C's been gathering these hoes this season. So Donna written out her own tattoo space. And her makeup and her hair actually look great. Like, I have never seen Donna look prettier outside of when she rolled up on um, Alex at the strip club with that brown uh, blunt bob. But 
even though her hair was just molded and you know but her makeup was done professionally it was pretty her eyebrows was on point for once her hair was really pretty on her that pink short wavy hair that show looked donna like donna looked gorgeous and even everybody on twitter was like donna that is the hairstyle for you like donna looked beautiful so um alex talked some sense to her about you know talking to see so they can like squash everything donna did her first tattoo that actually looked really good i was very proud of her i was like okay donna now you can back up your your, your, your shit now we need you to do like at least 12 more tattoos before i give you the stamp of my approval but that one was good a little bit too dark but good so mel at the bar drinking and thinking honey kid come to talk to her so they can you know see what's going on with mel and she tell Kit about her problems with Lalo and how she feel like they've become strangers. She feels like she's going to be a single mom. And they've been, even been discussing, like, the schedule for the baby because they're, like, they about to split up. And she break it down and crying. And Kit tells her that they're going to beat up her. And basically what I got from all this is this. He don't like her being on this show. Uh, he don't like the success that she's having. She's not only on Black Ink, but she's also on that uh, other tattoo show, uh, How Far Is Too Far, with Snooki. She's blowing up in the tattoo industry, and he still, I feel like, is left behind tattooing at they shop. She's going on to do big things, and I feel like he's jealous of her. Because let's keep this into perspective. She does not work for Black Ink Crew for real. She does tattooing on the show. She's a part of the crew on the show. But her and her man actually have their own tattoo sh shop of their own. So I feel like to keep this into the real life aspect, he does not like that her career has skyrocketed and he's left behind. And she's in this whole other world with these people. She's wearing wigs now. You know, she's, you know, on all these television shows. She just, she's changing and evolving and he don't like it. We, I never liked Lalo from the beginning. He's always seemed controlling and condescending towards her. And I don't feel like he feels like he can control her anymore. He don't like it. So look at that and that aspect on the real life aspect and not on this show shit because she does not really technically work for Black Ink. Um, and so with that being said, I really feel like their relationship needs to be just over and done. I know she wants a family and she wants to keep her family together, but he's never really respected her. He's one of those male chauvinistic type of dudes that feels like the man wear the pants and the woman need to listen. And unless she's going to give up her career and just sit by his side and let him be the one in the spotlight and her be the one sitting and adoring him, it's not going to work. So, C's asks Dez to come talk to him at the shop. C's asks him, you know, what's up with him? And he tells him that things ain't right at home. C's asks him to, you know, be an intern at Black Ink. And Dez is so excited about it. He's like, hell yeah, I'm going to do it. And they hug and he gets to work. So, it's the body part, body painting party. Dez walks in. C's tells everyone that Dez is the new intern. He asks him where Sky is. And he like, she in Miami. He like, in Miami. Hold up, come holler at me. He like, what's she doing in Miami? He was like, oh, about some clothes stuff. And he said, you know, in his confession, he's like, she telling me she need help with her son, but yet and since she ran her ass off to Miami and left him in New York by himself, like, what the fuck is going on? So he tell Dez that he gonna come stay with him until Sky get back. All of that was scripted as fuck. Don't believe any of that hype. He knew about her store. We've all known about Sky's store. I've known about Sky opening up a store since back early this year on Snapchat when she was in Miami looking for um actual retail spaces this is not nothing new sees knew all about it that was just a part of the storyline she did not actually leave that child in new york by his damn self she left him in new york for filming because he had to film him being a part of the crew and being an intern so don't believe the hype don't be like oh she's still an ain't shit mama that ain't true at all this is just a part of sky's storyline um, so, uh, Donna walks in and tells C's that they need to talk. C's tells her that he having a party. Like, he don't want to talk right now. Donna tells him that she's, um, put herself on the line for him numerous times. The least he can do is come talk to her. He's like, when the fuck have you ever put yourself on the line for me? Like, what the fuck? What, Donna? And he said, you know, he don't need to talk to her. And then she don't respect nothing. And he called, he said, I'm the boss, little girl. <laughs> he called her little girl. I holler. 
uh, she then turned and said, okay, remember I tried to talk to him. Uh, if he could just easily dispose of me after working for five years, he'd do the same to you. And C's reminds her and everyone else that he worked his ass off to get his shop tattooing in the projects. Him and Tess did this. He is the boss and he don't owe none of these motherfuckers no explanation. And I, for one, am team C's with this. He did not owe Donna shit. He did not owe her a conversation. Donna and her mouth have been acting up for five years. He have let her slide come back fire her let her come back donna didn't cause more goddamn strife and and bullshit in that damn shop and he's tired of her ass he tired of her and so no he don't want to talk to her ass and no i'm not gonna jump because now you want to come up here and talk no bitch that ain't how life works so i am team c's with that so once again she reminded everybody that if he'll do me like this he'll do you like that and she leave so Kit say, "Sees, you could at least hurt her out." See, say, "Now you have an opinion. Mind your damn bitches. Y'all mind your you mind your business. Y'all bitches is tripping." Now I was like, "Now you ain't got to call me no bitch, sees. Come on now." So see say, "You know, um, if you got a problem, you can leave right on with Donna." And she was like, "Really? That's how you feel, boy? Bye. Fuck you." And so she leaves. So outside, she talking to Tati when Signature walked by and say, "Hi, girls." <laughs> Kit looked at her like, "Bitch, what the fuck she doing here?" So. Sigla should go in and give uh C some do say sometimes I got you that uh that expensive shit, not that cheap shit. And I was like, girl, bye for bitch. So um uh, Kit say to Tati, ain't nobody gonna come in my fucking house and I help Bill talking shit to me. And that's their damn problem. They feel like they all had a hand in building this brand and building his shops. Okay. So Kit walked back in and Signature say to C's, that's your brand ambassador? And Kit say, yep, sure is. What's up? Then she mushed the girl in her, like in her neck. And the girl was looking like, oh, like she couldn't believe that she, you know, ran up on her like that. Then Kit swung off on her, bopped her in her face real quick. And then after that, it was a bunch of slap boxing. And the security jumped in. They couldn't get to each other. Um, the girl kept on trying to run out to fight Ty, uh, not Tati. Uh, Kit, but Kit was gone at that point, and then the episode went off. Child, uh, tonight's episode of Black and Crew, I give a C minus. It was alright for what it was. It really didn't move me, shake me, or nothing like that. We'll see what happens on next week's episode with Jada acting the fool, still stalking Ted. That dick must have been golden, bitch, because she out here acting like a whole monkey behind that nigga. Make sure to like and subscribe. Um, hit that notification bell button. Uh, the Episode 7 of Single Moms Meet, my web series, is up tonight. The reviews, the comments have been hilarious. Thank you all for watching. We only have one more episode left next week, and it's the season finale episode. We go out with a bang, so make sure you catch up on Single Moms Meet, my web series. Episode 1 through 7 is up right now. Once again, thank you to everybody who has tuned in and supported and shared it and liked the videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all my new T-Squad members, new subscribers. Welcome to my channel. I fucks with you all. And thank you all for telling me about Mr. Still Standing. He's a fellow uh, YouTube creator who shouted me out on one of his videos. I went on uh, his video and told him thank you and I'm so proud of him and what he's doing. So check out his channel and support him as well. Support your black um, YouTube creators. We gotta stick with each other, y'all. So yeah, my new novel, While We're Young, is on sale right now. The links are down below. Check it out if you're looking for a great book to read. Five stars over in this bitch. Um, yeah, I love you guys so much. I'm about to go watch the uh, Real Housewives of New Jersey. Also, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I do live reviews on Instagram. Right now, I'm doing live reviews on Hustle in Brooklyn on Wednesday nights. Um, that comes on on Wednesday nights on BET. I do live reviews on Hustle in Brooklyn. And then Saturday... I do live reviews on Chad Loves Michelle on OWN as well as Ready to Love on OWN. So make sure you uh, follow me on Instagram. My social media information is down below. And this Saturday, we're probably going to do something different. I don't think I'm going to do it a uh, regular spill the team. Me and Monique are going to film together and go live and do some fun stuff with you guys this Saturday. So be on the lookout for that. Love you guys. Bye.